And thank you so much for all your generous donations uh, over this 40th annual Coats for Kids. Uh, Storm Team 2 Chief Meteorologist Brian Davis joining us right now. Uh, Brian, those coats really coming in handy with the cold temps that we've had over the past week. But what are we looking at for tonight with kickoff for high school football games less than an hour away? Well, John, at least we can put away the heavy winter coats for a little bit. Looks like some milder temperatures. You'll still need the jacket this evening for sure. A mostly cloudy night on the way. We'll only drop down to the mid 40s for the overnight lows and uh, 50s expected for those games this evening. A very low rain chance Saturday morning. We can't rule out a sprinkle as a cold front arrives, but otherwise the weekend really looks like it'll stay mostly dry. Even Monday uh, dry now, maybe a late day shower as we head toward evening or into even Monday night. Uh, we'll see more sunshine on Sunday with highs in the 60s over the weekend, even milder Monday. The potential for some upper 60s in our area. 57 degrees at 7 o'clock, cloudy skies uh, this evening and cloudy skies 9 o'clock, 54. We don't expect any precipitation this evening. 8 a.m., 46, just that very slight chance of a sprinkle. Otherwise, we'll get back with a mix of clouds and sun and temperatures in the low 60s tomorrow afternoon. Looking back at the month of October, 57 was the average temperature. That was one degree above average. We were about a half inch below average on the rain fall at roughly two and a half inches and two tenths of an inch below average on the snowfall. A trace of snow though falling at the end of the month. Highest temperature 87. That was the second, third and fourth days of the month and uh, kind of a, what you'd expect the last day of the month. The coldest there at 26 in the morning on Halloween. Uh, temperatures over the next 12 hours coming down through the 50s down to 48 at four in the morning 47. 6 a.m. and then we'll find highs tomorrow reaching the low 60s over the northern part of the Miami Valley and low to mid 60s over the southern half of our region. And the Jeff Schmidt Auto Group camera, you can see those clouds rolling in overhead now uh, with more in the way of clear skies out toward the horizon there looking southeast uh, towards Xenia. Live Doppler 2 HD is dry, uh, just some clouds rolling in from the west. There are some showers along that cold front out over Wisconsin and Iowa and back in Illinois. If some of that moisture holds together, could bring us that sprinkle late night, early tomorrow morning, but otherwise looks like a dry weekend on the way. Precip chances bumping back up to around 20%. Uh, later Monday and also into Tuesday. Right now we're at 58 south southwest wind at 14. Uh, very dry air mass 22 dew point 25 percent the relative humidity. Our weather checkers Barbara Richards in Kettering at 60. Uh, the low setters in Jamestown at 60 degrees but David Wessler New Paris at 54. Jeff Cadora Bell Center 53. Future track forecast map we'll see those clouds uh, break up a little bit as we get to midday tomorrow. 46 the low tonight mostly cloudy skies. Tomorrow, mixed clouds and sun. Maybe an early day sprinkle. 62 won't be as breezy tomorrow. Sunday will be mild. 62 set those clocks back this weekend. 68 on Monday. We'll see that chance of late day showers. Same on Tuesday, a slight chance of showers. Better chance of rain Wednesday with cooler weather after that.